Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the 52nd anniversary of the BDF establishment. His Royal Highness praised the role of His Majesty the King in enhancing the BDF since its establishment, which contributed to making numerous achievements as well as protecting the country and its people. He praised the efforts of His Majesty in enhancing the status of the kingdom on the international level. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and the country further progress and prosperity. In response, His Majesty sent His Royal Highness the Prime Minister a cable in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to him and affirmed that the BDF will always remain the shield protecting the kingdom and its people. He appreciated the role of His Royal Highness in contributing to the achievements of the BDF wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 52nd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. He praised the role of His Majesty the King in enhancing the BDF since its establishment, which contributed to making numerous achievements as well as protecting the country and its people. His Royal Highness noted that this anniversary is one of many consecutive achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King and his visions. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for the country further development and prosperity. In response, His Majesty sent His Royal Highness the Crown Prince a reply cable in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and affirmed that the BDF will always remain the shield protecting the kingdom and its people. He appreciated the role of His Royal Highness in contributing to the achievements of the BDF, wishing them all further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the 52nd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. He highlighted His Majesty's support to the BDF, which resulted in the development it achieved. That is a source of pride for the kingdom. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness, and for the country further development and prosperity. In response, his Majesty sent the Commander-in-Chief a cable in which he expressed thanks as well as pride in the efforts of the BDF and its members. He appreciated the role and efforts of the Commander-in-Chief in contributing to the achievements of the BDF, wishing them all further success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 52nd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the BDF, which contributed to maintaining the security and stability of the kingdom, and hailed his efforts in maintaining the security and stability in the region alongside brotherly countries. He wished the country further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressing thanks and appreciation to him and praised his efforts in enhancing the role of the BDF. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince abundant health and happiness and the kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Prime Minister of Italy Giuseppe Conti in Rome. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince conveyed His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's wishes of progress and prosperity for the Italian Republic and its people. His Royal Highness noted that bilateral ties continue to move from strength to strength under the leadership of His Majesty the King as evidenced by highlighting 
high-level exchanges and the inauguration of Bahrain's embassy in Rome. The Crown Prince recognized economic and trade ties as the cornerstone of bilateral relations, underscoring that those ties and agreements will be signed during the visit will continue to boost shared prosperity far beyond the borders of both nations. His Royal Highness and the Italian Prime Minister then exchanged views on regional and international issues of common concern. A number of senior officials from His Royal Highness's official delegation also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended a business reception in Rome organized by the Bahrain Economic Development Board in cooperation with large Italian enterprises on the sidelines of an official visit to Italy. During the reception, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underlined the importance of further strengthening the kingdom's economic competitiveness through the adoption of initiatives aimed at enhancing sustainable diversification efforts in line with Bahrain's economic vision 2030. His Royal Highness noted that promoting the capacity for innovation is key to providing favorable conditions for investment opportunities and economic growth, which are the foundation of the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's achievements, praising Team Bahrain's continued efforts, supporting Bahrain's long-term development aimed at delivering a promising future for all Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of bilateralism as a means of further enhancing sustainable development and international cooperation across the economy, adding that strong Bahraini-Italian relations have resulted in the signing of a number of important agreements within the manufacturing, logistics, tourism and commercial sectors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the EDB's role in attracting foreign direct investments through a variety of plans and initiatives organized to showcase investment opportunities within Bahrain. His Royal Highness then witnessed the signing of a number of agreements between Bahraini and Italian enterprises worth 330 million euros. These include agreements between Tatwir Petroleum and Eni Bahrain, Alba and Florcid SPA, Alba and Fata SPA, Alba and Technocar SPC, Al Salam Bank and OMP Racing SPA, DPIC and SPA Eni Group. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, gave a speech in which he praised the long standing ties between Bahrain and Italy, adding that the agreements signed are a testament to the broadening of two countries' bilateral partnership, which will further enhance both economies. Al Zayani noted that commercial cooperation between Bahrain and Italy began in 1973 and added that more than 60 Italian enterprises are present and operating in Bahrain. Al Zayani concluded his speech by relaying the opportunities available to enhance the Bahraini Italian commercial partnership to even greater heights in the future. 
The president of Confidastria Afarsica and Mediterraneo, Mr. Giovanni Otati, gave a speech in which he highlighted that Bahraini-Italian partnership has presented a wide range of successful commercial opportunities. Also commenting on the signing of the agreements, the chief executive of the Bahraini DB, Khalid Hamaidan, added that long history of trade between Bahrain and Italy has evolved into a strong partnership, allowing both countries to flourish. A number of high-level officials from His Royal Highness's official delegation and senior figures from across the Italian and Bahraini private sectors also attended the business reception. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Dean of the Arab Diplomatic Corps and Ambassador of Oman to Italy, Dr. Ahmed bin Salim Ba Omar, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to Italy, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Ambassador of Kuwait to Italy, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Subah, on the sidelines of an official visit to the country. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the successful role played by ambassadors in serving the interests of their countries and their citizens. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue to work alongside its allies and international partners to find new opportunities to promote cooperation, noting that the inauguration of the Kingdom's embassy in Rome will further contribute to the expansion of Bahraini-Italian ties. He also extended his greetings to the leaders of Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Oman, wishing them continued progress and prosperity. For their part, the ambassadors expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's continuing support for the long-standing relations that joined their countries with Bahrain. A number of senior officials from His Royal Highness's official delegation also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met the Chief Executive Officer of the Italian energy company Eni, Claudio Descalzi, on the sidelines of an official visit to Italy. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of further strengthening and modernizing the Kingdom's priority economic sectors to enhance diversification efforts and achieve sustainable development that meet the aspirations of citizens. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's commitment to deepening its ties with Italy in order to ensure broader economic cooperation with global partners in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development plan led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized that the Kingdom is consolidating its shift towards becoming a smart oil economy by further strengthening technical capabilities, ensuring the sustainability of resources, and adopting programs and initiatives aimed towards advancing long-term economic growth. A number of senior officials from His Royal Highness's official delegation were also in attendance.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met the Chairman of the Nardo Giovanni de Gennaro on the sidelines of an official visit to Italy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reiterated the Kingdom's determination to continue to work alongside international partners to strengthen regional and global security, recognizing that those partnerships continue to enhance Bahrain Defense Force military capabilities. His Royal Highness noted that deploying emerging technologies across all military work streams further ensures combat readiness. He also expressed appreciation for Leonardo's participation in Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference by DEC. The meeting was also attended by a number of senior officials from His Royal Highness's official delegation. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Honor Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marked the National Day for the Environment today, about which His Highness affirmed commitment to the slogan of Let us protect our environment from plastic, in support of the efforts that are being made by all government, civil and commercial organizations, which are intended to reduce the negative effects of plastic on the environment. His Highness expressed pride in the extent to which the goals of environmental protection and sustainable development in the kingdom, which are in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness added that Bahrain made a great deal of progress in this field thanks to the Cabinet's implementation of the necessary measures in February 2000. 2018, thanks to the recommendation of the Coordination Committee under His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Highness also praised the support of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects under Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Highness then revealed a plan through which use of plastic bags would be limited or even entirely phased out within the next five years. His Highness said that altering the consumption habits of citizens and residents will contribute to this effort and that this field represents an avenue for investment. His Highness expressed pride in the efforts that are being carried out by the Supreme Council for the Environment and affirmed Bahrain's commitment to further progress regionally and internationally. Also on the occasion of the Kingdoms of Bahrain celebration of the National Environment Day on the 4th of February of each year, the Supreme Council for the Environment organized a environmental awareness exhibition named to protect our environment from plastic until February 8th at the Seif Mall in Manama. More in this report. Protecting our environment from plastic exhibition reflects the vision of the Supreme Council for the Environment calling for limiting the use of harmful plastic materials due to the extent of their danger to the marine and wild environment and the wildlife and natural resources it contains. As you can see today we have a lot of NGOs are part of this exhibition showing their initiatives towards the environment, towards reducing the plastics, towards reducing our own waste. All this to raise the awareness among, among our kids. We need our kids to be the new generation who take the flag towards serving their own environment. We changed the specifications of the manufacturing of all 24 plastic factories in Bahrain from non-biodegradable to biodegradable. We stopped importing and biodegradable plastics to only biodegradable plastics. But I promise you we're moving further into reducing the amount of plastics with crucial laws and regulations. The exhibition aims to raise the level of awareness among members of society and promote environmentally friendly alternatives and raise the level of public awareness of the seriousness of plastic waste and find alternatives to it. We do believe that this exhibition and this initiative is very much important with the efforts of the Supreme Council of the Environment chaired by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa to raise awareness on 
the personal responsibility of every single person on this island to consume responsibly, to think twice before using plastic, and to be part of the continuous initiatives that are being undertaken not only by the Supreme Council for the Environment, but also by the active civil society who has been actively engaged in these ongoing efforts to counter the consumption of plastic. The pavilion of the Supreme Council for the Environment at the exhibition includes several displays focusing on spreading awareness and knowledge where the trip of the pavilion visitors begins by listening to getting to know the history of plastics to an explanation from the council's team using illustrations on the project to organize and reduce plastic waste in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the steps taken and implemented in the project. I'm happy to see what I have, what I saw here at the uh, at the display that the Supreme Council for Environment has put together on this occasion. It is an important message. Everybody has a role to play in order to achieve recycling and environment sustainability. There, um, it's also an opportunity to meet newly established companies in the Kingdom of Bahrain who are doing an excellent effort in recycling. A number of private sector institutions and civil societies concerned to reduce plastic waste and reduce the use of production of unrecyclable and single-use plastic materials also participated. We support the environment by collecting the plastic. You know, the plastic is everywhere in Bahrain. This amount, we, put it, uh, we give it to the Crown uh, factory. They give us... A benefit. This benefit we use it for the wheelchair, special wheelchairs for the disabled children. The exhibition also displays the cleaning campaigns that have been held for a number of beaches and seas of the kingdom. As part of the official visit to Italy by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani signed an agreement with Italy's Minister of Cultural Heritage and Activities and Tourism. The agreement aims to encourage tourism between the two countries and to deepen cooperation in the fields of food, agriculture and tourist products. The two countries will be responsible to increase cooperation in the field of tourism and to increase the exchange of expertise, data and methods of preserving natural heritage. Al Zayani said that the agreement is part of the efforts to invigorate the tourism sector in Bahrain and to increase job opportunities in this industry as per Economic Vision 2030. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa delegated the Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Abdullah Hassan Al Nuaini, to attend the final match of the second edition of the Marshall Cup Football Championship for the 2019-2020 season, which was held at Khalifa Sports City Stadium. The event coincides with the celebrations of the 52nd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations Major General Ghanim Ibrahim Al Fadal attended the match along with senior BDF officers. The match was also attended by President of Bahrain Football Federation, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Royal Guard football team succeeded in maintaining the title as champions of the field Marshall Cup after the victory over the Bahraini Royal Air Force football team by three goals for one. The Minister of Defense honored the players as well as the referee of the final match. المباراة الختامية بانتظار المزيد بانتظار هرف التسجيل بانتظار النعار النعار يباغت الجميع على بداية الشوط الثاني وفريق من عمر دعي الآن كرة من فرحان الله الله سددها بيمينه ونقل الفرقة بعد ذلك لحبيب لإيمانويل يمرر خطيرة الثاني الثاني حبيب يسجل الثاني فريق الحرس الملكي هدفين مقابل هدف حبيب هارون يمرر كرة ما فيها راية لموسيس الثالث خلصوها 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 تأتي لموسيس وتسكن الشباك المشير في كأس هذه البطولة المشير في نسخة الثانية
سيد جلال المحفوظ والمساعد الثاني عبد الله صالح والحكم الر... من أداء مميز طيلة مباريات هذه المسابقة في نسختها الثانية قائد وحدة الصيانة الفنية قدموا أداء مميزا طيلة فترة هذه المسابقة وأدوا مباراة نهائية تليق بمسمى كأس Upon the, upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units and within the framework of the Royal Directives, the Housing Ministry under Secretary Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced the start of distributing the housing apartments project in Tubli. Sheikh Abdullah noted that the project is one of the main projects listed in the Ministry's program to implement His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's order to build 40,000 housing units in addition to the housing commitment in the government program. He added that the distribution procedures will continue throughout this week. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Assistant Under Secretary of Control and Resources, launches today Bahrain e commerce conference 2020 that combined entrepreneurs, startups, business owners, and those interested in the e commerce field to discuss a huge opportunity in e commerce in Bahrain and how Bahraini enterprises and startups can utilize them. It gathered more than 280 participants from different e commerce commercial institutions and businesses from the government and private sectors, technical companies and civil society organizations. This event comes celebrating the achievements of Bahrain E-Commerce Academy, which was a result of the fruitful cooperation between the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and ThinkSmart Institute for Development and Training, with the support of Temkin for one year. The event concluded from Zero to Hero workshop that highlighted the digital marketing tools and techniques to drive more sales for the commercial institutions within the e-commerce experts. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism supports all constructive ideas and initiatives to streamline transactions through the enactment of legal frameworks and legislations which in turn lead to enhancing confidence among dealers in these areas. Moreover, the conference was accompanied by a mini-exhibition that includes a variety of companies and related commercial institutions to display the most prominent e-projects, solutions and technical consultations and successful locally experiences in the e-commerce field and applications. Today, with more than 280 participants, we celebrate the achievements of Bahrain E-Commerce Academy uh, by conducting the e-commerce conference that brings together the entrepreneurs, um, startups, uh, business owners uh, to discuss the huge opportunities in e-commerce and how to uh, benefit uh, from this. I'm glad that the country is really looking into developing e-commerce and then was the such kind of events bringing some experts around the world and here in the region to help businesses here locally from small businesses and SMEs to actually large organizations to develop their e-commerce uh, capabilities.